Hello, my name is Dr. Diwan S. Raja. Today I will discuss about autoimmune polyendocrine syndrome type 1 and type 2. So what is autoimmune polyendocrine syndrome type 1? It is also called autoimmune polyendocrinopathy candidiasis and ectodermal dystrophy or APECED. What are the characteristics of this disease? This is a very, very rare disease and it is manifested by chronic mucocutaneous candidiasis, abnormalities of the skin, dental enamel and nail. Addition's disease, that is primary adenocortical insufficiency, hypoparathyroidism, hypogonadism, especially the testes or the ovary, pernicious anemia that usually due to the malfunction of the parietal cell of the stomach the mucocutaneous manifestation there will be candidiasis over the tongue this is the tongue and there will be fungal infection on the nail here there will be fungal infection in the cornea of the eye okay this is taken from a patient around the age of 25 and we know that that disease is usually manifests early as mucocutaneous candidiasis that is followed by other endocrine gland defects defective functions so initially we have mucocutaneous candidiasis and in the developing teeth we'll, we'll have also some patient will develop lot defective enamel formation that is associated with that of the hypoparathyroidism. Okay, so what is the etiology or cause of the autoimmune polyendocrine syndrome type 1 caused by mutation of the autoimmune regulator gene, also called AIRE? The mutated gene is located in chromosome 21Q22. So it is an autosomal recessive disease. AIRE is located in the thymus. AIRE functions as the transcription factor that promotes the expression of many peripheral tissue antigens. Self-reactive T cells that recognize these antigens are removed. In the absence of AIRE function, central T cell tolerance to peripheral tissue antigen is compromised, stimulating autoimmunity. Autoantibodies are developed against interleukin 17, interleukin 22. These are the cytokines secreted by the thymus derived T cells. There will be self tolerance of the GAD65 in type 1 diabetes due to malfunction of the thymus. So we got type 1, I'll go to type 2, that is the autoimmune polyendocrine syndrome type 2. It is manifested in early adulthood. But APS1 usually manifested in the second decade, maybe at the end of the first decade. Characterized by addition disease, autoimmune thyroiditis, and type 1 diabetes. How APS2 differs from APS1? APS2 will not get mucocutaneous candidiasis. Mucocutaneous candidiasis is a part of APS1, not a component of APS2. 
and there is no ectodermal dysplasia in APS2 and there will be no hypoparathyroidism. So these features are absent in APS2. In APS2, we have the primary adenocortical, adenocortical insufficiency that causing additional disease, autoimmune thyroiditis, and type 1 diabetes. Okay, so what are the highlights? APS type 1, there will be mucocutaneous candidiasis, hypoparathyroidism, and addition disease. In addition to that, we have skin manifestation, manifestation in the nail, there will be oral candidiasis, nail dystrophy, and skin changes, there will be corneal infection, the fungus. Okay, APS type 2 will have addition disease and the diabetes type 1, but no candidiasis and no hypoparathyroidism in APS type 2. And clinical presentation we found APS type 1. Mucocutaneous candidiasis, hypoparathyroidism, addition stages, and type 2, we have addition stages, primary adenocortical insufficiency, plus diabetes. And we have the etiology. APS type 1 is autosomal recessive disease. The cause of APS type 2 is not known. Maybe it is associated with some type of hereditary factor. And this, both of these is, diseases are very uncommon. This is even more uncommon than that of this. This is more common. We got the differences between the APS type 1, APS type 2. APS type 1, APS type 2, if you go the differences again, We'll find out that in APS type 2, there is no mucocutaneous candidiasis, no ectodermal dysplasia, no hypoparathyroidism. These are the features of APS type 1. Okay. And that's all about the autoimmune polyendocrine syndrome type 1 and type 2. So please share the information with your friends and please support my channel. Please subscribe me. If you have any question, please feel free to ask me. And please subscribe me. Have a nice day. Bye now.